Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at 6, begins right now. And the leader of St. Peter's Health Partners is stepping down what he told me today about the Affordable Care Act. Meanwhile, the head of the Capital Region's largest health system and second largest private employer applauds the Affordable Care Act. He says we can't afford not to provide coverage to people. He shared his thoughts about the Health Care Act with me today as he announced his retirement as CEO of St. Peter's Health Partners. When you look at all this, yeah. after everything that went in, yeah. to getting it to this yeah, point, yeah, Steve, yeah. you think what? <laughs> All this is the more than 270,000 square feet added to St. Peter's Hospital and the 300,000 square feet renovated during his tenure as CEO, a job Steve Boyle held since February 1993. But it's not the bricks and mortar he's most proud of. I think my proudest achievement is when people say to me, who've just joined St. Peter's, they say, this is an unbelievable place. People are so friendly here. I love working here. So it's the culture. Even as he plans to walk away from the job, he's got work aplenty to keep him busy. It's never done, really. Um, the construction program, the mass facility plan will be further along, but that won't be completed. We still have, we'll have about one more renovation to the Macaulay. See, that's, mm -hmm. see the top of it over there? You can just see it. That'll be under renovation. And the merger takes years, really. That merger brought together St. Peter's with Northeast Health and Seton Health. Boyle's retirement on October 1st marks exactly a year since the merger became official. He says the merger was conceived before the Affordable Health Care Act, something he says is good for the country. And he sees similarities between the two improving health care quality, lowering costs, improving access, and coordinating what is now fragmented health care. Before Boyle gets back to work, I ask him if five years from now someone had to finish the sentence. Steve Boyle did what during his tenure at St. Peter's? He made health care better. Boyle's got a regret, though. He says that the lobbying efforts, along with others, to increase Medicare reimbursement rates didn't come to fruition. Dr. James Reed will assume the CEO job when Boyle retires.